Hello everyone, my name is Stas and I represent the U Gears company. Today we will assemble another model from the collection, deck box. That's an easy but quite interesting device. It is specially designed for storage and transportation of your game cards. I will show you how to assemble it. Let's open it. Inside we can find three boards, an instruction, several rubber bands, a candle and sandpaper. Let's open the instruction. I want to explain to you what these four icons mean. You can see them on each page in the instruction. First one means that part needs to be lubricated. Use this wax candle to do that. At each step where you will see such an icon, you have to wax apart. Exclamation mark means that we have to pay special attention at this step of assembly. And this icon tells us that we have to cut something. Use a utility knife for that. This icon means that a part has to rotate freely. Let's start the assembly. For the first step, we need a part number one and two parts number two. You can find them on a board number one. Here it is. Two parts number two. Here they are. Let's unpack the wax. And lubricate the cuts. Now take the parts number two and put them on the spikes like this. Next, we need to take a part number three. Fit it on these spikes. Lubricate the protruding parts. Take two more parts, number two. And also put them on the spikes. Now we need a part number four. Connect it with the spikes. This is what we have to get. Here is one part of a lid of our deck box. Now let's assemble the second part in the same way. It will be almost the same, but specular looking. 
We have to check each of them. They both have to work like this, rotating freely. This one works fine. Now let's assemble the second one. Part number one, number two. Take apart number one. And wax the spikes. Now connect the part number three with the part number one. Wax the spikes again. Find the parts number two. And install them again. Now we need part number five. Fit it in the same way. And check that all loops can rotate freely. Ready? Let's continue. For the next step, we need a part number six, number eight, and number nine. A part number six two parts number eight and two parts number nine. They are on the board number two. Let's check what we have to lubricate. We have to wax the upper spikes of the parts number 9 and these also. Wax these gears parts of the part number 8. Then take the part number six. Uh, let's first take the parts number eight and nine and assemble them in a specular way. Fit in the part number eight, the part number nine, like this. Let's also take another part and connect them so they are specular, like this. Now install these elements. One side on the right and one side on the left. Here's what we will get. Now do the same with the part number seven. Here it is, a bit different from the part number six. This step of the assembly is the same. Thus we pull out two parts number eight and two parts number nine. Uh, 
Wax the top sides of part number nine. And the gear parts of the part number eight. Then insert the parts number eight into the parts number nine. Insert one to the right. And the other one to the left. Just like this. This part has to rotate easily. Next, we need the part number 10. Let's find it. Mm, a small one. Put it here with a sharp side down. Go on to the next assembly stage. We will need a part number 13, two parts number 11, and two parts number 12. Uh, so, we take the part number 13 in a way that all spikes are down. And fit the parts number 11 on it. On both sides. until they stop. Ready? Now insert the part number 12 into the part number 11. And now let's fit together all our parts. Take this part, wax the protruding spikes on the left and on the right. Take a central part and fit the side panel to it. Be very careful here. 
not to damage anything. Ready? Now take this part of the lid. And wax these elements. Далее нам нужно вот эти угловые. We have to fix these angle parts on the top. And insert in these two slots simultaneously, like this. Do the same with the second lid. Wax all spikes. Holding the rotating parts and insert into the slots. Pay attention to insert it exactly with this side. Now close this hole with this second side panel. Wax these parts. And fix these movable parts on top, just as before. It will be a bit harder here. We have to hit the several slots simultaneously. First, I will insert the spikes into the upper slot, like this. Connect now. И теперь соединим их. It's not perfect here. So, I press here until they stop. Ready? These parts have to freely open and close to the right and to the left. Let's continue assembling. Go on to the next stage. We need a part number 14 and two parts number 15. You can find them on the board number 2. The part number 14 is on the first board. Fit them as shown in the instruction. Like 
first this way and then like this. Let's do that one one more time. They assemble in the same way. Now fit these parts to the body of our deck box on both sides. Next assembly stage, we have to pull out a part number 7. This is the bottom of our deck box. And parts number 16. Connect the parts number 16 on both sides. Now we need parts number 18 and number 19. Wax all the parts of these protruding elements. Then connect them with the bottom. These parts are different, but now it doesn't matter which part you see from which side. Вот так, чтобы зазоров не оставалось. Готово. Дальше нам... Now we need a part number 20. Деталь номер... Wax the gear parts of it. Now be attentive. This part has to be placed on the side with straight elements of this jar. Not on the side with such slots. But on the side without them. 
Okay. Check also that the logo text faces you, so that you can read it. Next. We need the part number 21 and 22. Everything is simple here. Insert the part number 21 into the part number 22. Now we need parts number 23 and number 24. I'll put out two parts number 24 since we will need them soon. Take the parts number 23 and 24 and insert them. Now, take the part, which we have already assembled, and fit it with the curved part outside. Then, check that the straight part with a straight line is inside. Be attentive. Everything is shown in the instruction. Now take a part number 25. Wax the spikes. Put this joint on one side. Pay attention that the logo has to face you. Fit this part, but not to the end. And join it with the other parts which we fit on the other side. Now insert all the spikes. Now we can press all the parts until they stop. This part has to rotate freely. Now wax these gear parts and everything is ready. Take parts number 26 and 27. Two of them. There are two spikes on the part number 27. We'll use the shorter one now. Take the part number 26 and fit them together. Assemble these parts in the same way, but in a specular way. These hooks on protruding parts have to face different sides. Next, take this part and connect it with the part that we've just assembled.
Put them until they stop. Pay attention that hooks have to be on the different sides. We need a rubber band and a helper. Which we can find on board number two. Turn the helper with this longer side towards you. Make a knot on the rubber band, but don't tighten it. Place the knot so that we can get the rubber band of this length. Tighten the knot and cut out the rest of the rubber band. Take this knot and uh, catching the hooks from the inside thread it from one hook to another one. Now throw both sides of the rubber band over the rotating part. After that, put the rubber band in the slots of this part to make a sprung. Like this. Now find the part number 29. Wax the side parts and close the slots with arrows down so that the rubber band could not get out. This will be a button for our mechanism to open and close our deck box. Now we have to connect this joint to the bottom. Just fit it with the spikes. Now we need parts number 27 and number 28. Connect the part 28 and the parts number 27 with their short spikes. Long spikes have to stay free. Now with long spikes, Connect the joint with the lower part of the deck box. We need a part number 30 and two parts number 31. Now 
чтобы собраться у вас сразу две, как указано в инструкции. Так, и деталь номер 30. Деталь номер 30, вот она. Insert the narrow spikes into the narrow slots. Do the same again. Assemble everything so that these spikes of this big part and white spikes would stick out in one direction. Take also the lower part of our deck box and connect these parts. The lower part of the deck box is ready. Now we have to fit them together. This is the most important part of our assembly. First, according to the instruction, we have to pay attention to the choice of the right side. The right side on the lower part is this butt, and on the upper part is uh, this protruding element. It is missing on the other side, pay attention to that. Thus, we have to fit them together, the button and the protruding element. Now, sliding the upper part into the lower one. We turn the elements back a bit so to fit them freely. Pay attention to the gear parts. They have to get in to each other. Check here also that nothing would interfere. Now raise our element a bit and insert it so that all points are on one line. Do the same on the other side. Raise this element. Lower the upper part a bit and fit it in. Now we need one more rubber band. Make a knot in it as well. But now we need a shorter loop. Turn the helper with the side with a shorter slot. Make a knot on the rubber band and check that its length is same as the distance from one point to the other. And cut unneeded parts of the rubber band. Now very carefully. We fix this rubber band between the upper and lower parts. 
элементов верхнего и нижнего. Для этого. To do that, we have to slide down the upper part of the deck box. To slide it down, just press on this protrudes. Then it opens. И вот эта вот кнопка, она фиксирует. And this button fixes the position so that it hooks the protruding part of the upper part of the deck box. Верхней части deck box. Take this rubber band and insert it into the hole. Продеваем в отверстие, где у нас with this loop. Продеваем, если if you have a hard time doing that, just raise the upper part for a bit. Верхнюю часть. Для этого кнопку я чуть-чуть отожму. Подниму верхнюю часть немножко. Вот так. Резинку продену в отверстие. При этом... While doing that, fix the lower part of the rubber band on this loop, and the rest we hold inside the deck box. Изнутри нашего deck box. Захватываем и держим пока. Next, we take our helper with another hand. Pass it into the hole and grab the rubber band with the helper from inside, pulling it out. Now, мы можем их оставить так, чтобы резинка не упала вовнутрь и выдавить. Pull out a part number thirty. Вот эта деталь нам нужна. Теперь вот тут очень сложный момент. Нам нужно оттянув. Now pull off the rubber band and fix it on the top of the part number thirty. На петельке, на ушке детали под номером тридцать. Вот так. То есть мы по сути хелпером заменили сейчас деталь, вот эту вот деталь, которую сейчас держу. И потом Повернув эту деталь к корпусу, insert this part in the body with the spikes. Ставить эту деталь в корпус, при этом придерживаете, при этом я придерживаю. While holding the body from inside. Корпус изнутри, чтобы у меня был упор. Вот так. Вот. As a result, we have the rubber bands stretched between those elements. This and that. Do the same on another side now. Pull out the needed part and make a knot. Check also that the rubber band is approximately of the same length. Next, analogically, pass the rubber band into the hole on this side, grab it from the other side, cling the rubber band and the lug. Take the helper, pass it inside, grab the rubber band with the hook and pull it out. Take the part and grab the rubber band with the hook from this part. Вот так. 
Now turn this part and fit in the body. While holding the deck box from inside with your fingers. Now the assembly is done and the deck box is ready. Deck box is a device specially designed for storing and transporting game cards. You can easily open it, just moving your hand down and pressing the protruding parts on the top of the body. See, that is how we open it. Here, you fix it with the button. You open two inner compartments. Each of them can hold several dozens of cards. The maximum size of cards is 63.5 mm on one side and 88 mm on the other. That is how we put cards inside. Press on this button to close the box. That's all. Thanks for your attention.